Imagine for a moment that a crime has taken place, a murder if you will. Upon arriving at the scene of the crime, the police notice an unknown solution on the floor. They gather the solution and send it to the lab, tasking you to find out what it is. But how does one go about the work of figuring out the identity of an unknown solution? By using the method called qualitative analysis. Hey, Seraph here, and we're back for more chemistry explanation made easy. For this video, we're going to talk more about qualitative analysis. Qualitative analysis is the technique to analyze chemicals. It is a series of tests employed to help us identify the ions that form chemical compounds. Qualitative analysis is also known as chemical analysis or detective chemistry. In qualitative analysis, there are three main groups of tests which test for cations, anions, and gases. Let's take a look at an example to see qualitative analysis in action. Suppose that the unknown solution is copper 2 nitrate. We will split the unknown solution into two samples for three different tests. For the first test, we test for cations by adding aqueous ammonia in excess. Blue precipitates form and that observation confirms the identity of copper ion in the unknown solution. For the second test, we test for anions by adding sodium hydroxide and some aluminium powder to sample 2. Bubbles of gas form, also known as effervescence, is observed. Since an unknown gas was produced, we will have to conduct the third test to find out the identity of the gas. For the third test, we use a piece of moist red limus paper to test the gas liberated. The red limus paper turns blue, which proves that the gas is alkaline, which means it is an ammonia gas. With the identity of the ammonia gas confirmed, it proves that the anion in the solution is nitrate. From the copper nitrate example, there are three main types of observations we need to take note for the test, which are forming of precipitates, bubbles of gas, also known as effervescence, changes of color, for example, litmus papers test. In summary, there are three main types of tests for qualitative analysis, cations, anions, and gases. Join me in this qualitative analysis video series as we will dive deeper into each of the different types of the test, describing in detail what are the observations and analysis in three separate videos, covering tests for cations, anions, and gases. Links in the description below. Hey, Seraph here. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for future updates. See you next time.